Hi, I'm Mike Sullivan. Welcome to Guitar Tech, how to do it yourself. Let it not be said that guitarists are picky people. Hi, Gospel Guitarist here. And today I have a simple tip on picks. The tip picks. Pick tips. Ah, with the world full of different varieties of picks out there, I've always encouraged my students to go out to the music store, open up all the containers that they can find, and grab as many different picks as they can afford. Because all the picks give a different texture and tone when you use them from your guitar and in your fingers. They actually do affect the way you play and they're really effective dynamically with the guitar. And you will grow to find that some picks you hate and some picks you love. And I'm going to go over a couple of the picks in my collection here. This is representative of most of the different types of picks that I've messed with. Some I just grabbed because I was starting to collect them. Um, maybe one day I'll make something cool. Uh, more on that at the end of the video. Um, one of the things that we usually do, as we all know and start out, we usually have something like these Fender Mediums. They're a favorite of mine. I'm always going back to them. Um, they just feel nice. They're, they're a hard plastic, but they're pliable. They're, they have a nice snap to them when you're strumming an acoustic. Um, other ones that I've used in the past and been really good on are these Clayton picks. Um, this one is a 50 millimeter pick. has a nice flex, but it's not too thin. And you can tighten up on it and get a good pick attack for, for soloing and things. And they last forever. These things last a long, long time. This pick is a nylon Dunlop. Um, and it's a 60 millimeter pick. And it has been, boy, I probably owned, I know I have another one of these somewhere. <laughs> it's like I bought two of these in the last 15 to 20 years. Okay, that's, uh, I just can't seem to wear these out. <laughs> And I go back to these for a while and play, and then I'll go back to the fenders, and it just kind of just kind of bounce around. You know, whenever you want to spice up your playing um, and maybe discover something new, uh, grab a different kind of pick than you're used to. A friend of mine, not too long ago, um, I think it was last winter, handed me one of these Dunlop Rhino picks, and uh, again, it's a 60 millimeter. But it has a different kind of a uh, texture to it. And it just sounds different, but it's got a really nice grip. Um, it doesn't slide much. Something about this material just really grabs my skin. It may not grab your skin. So that's why you got to grab different kind of picks. Figure out what works for you. Some picks, if you have a hard time holding them, will use something like the Cool Pick, which has a material on them, which is grippable on both sides so it's kind of a nylon pick and it's got this material that forms kind of a matted surface on them that helps you hold the pick other pick designers have put holes in their picks as you can see there and holes always work <laughs> some different styles this one here is a very hard tough plastic pick with holes drilled through it. Um, this one was called the uh, Pick Boy. So I grabbed it because I seen them one day and they were different. One of my favorites when it comes to soloing um, though comes down to these four guys here. Um, a lot of people really like the Jazz 3 picks. Uh, the red ones. Um, <laughs> I don't really have a favorite. It can be red or black for me. It doesn't really matter. Um, they're a really tough, hard, and thick plastic. Really good sharp point on them so you can really get the, the pick to uh, get harmonics out. Um, my other favorite is the um, Stubby. And I have the version 2 and 3 here, I think, from Jim Dunlop's. Um, 
and uh, this is a one millimeter and this one is a two millimeter I think yeah so the purple one's a little bit heavier I actually like the purple one over the red one I just just feels better to me I can really get a good grip on such a small pick um, these are all very tough plastic very thick hard plastic uh, you'd have to pick your favorite between the two styles here um, but they're a smaller pick if you compare them to a normal pick size um, like the uh, that's the pick difference there so there's a pretty good size difference and you can see that the uh, the red Jazz 3 has got a much sharper tip on it um, if you're looking for increasing your speed on lead guitar and running scale practice, um, these are the type of picks you want to be interested in, are like the smaller Jazz 3s and the um, and the Dunlop Stubby. Um, you can also have your picks customized. <laughs> I have done that a couple times where you can order them online. If you have a band, you can have it say whatever you want on them. You can put your own graphics, your own colors. Um, it's not too bad, but it's fun to do that once in a while. So basically, I have a couple of the uh, Dunlop Tortax, Tortax picks here. Um, I usually use uh, orange as my favorite, and I kind of vary on these for bass, the green, yellow, and purple. Um, so this is just a beginning example of what you can find out there and there's just different materials you've got hard plastic you got light plastic um, you've got the different Tortex picks that Dunlap makes you got nylon picks you got whole picks you got little picks you got big picks um, they have other picks that I don't have here that you can find out there that are made of um, symbols some people sell them online at eBay you can find actual brass picks that are made from used symbols that people make um, you can get a pick maker online I can't remember the address for that where you can make your own picks out of credit cards and whatnot uh, different materials but you can buy them in brass you can buy aluminum st stainless steel picks stone picks marble picks you can get different kinds of cloth type picks there's just all kinds of picks so take your pick um, but I would encourage you to go out and get a collection of picks and play them from different companies different textures different gauges of picks um, I find different different gauges are good for different things that you're doing on the guitar so this has just been a short video on picks now my invite to you is what do you do with your picks Post a video showing me things that you've done, things that you've made with extra picks. Um, I had an idea for a clock I have that has a really nice 63 Corvette on it that I was thinking of just gluing these over the Corvette, you know, and just fill the whole, the whole clock with just different picks and uh, just a little pick collection case, so to, so to speak, with a clock in it. Um, I've thought about gluing them around the edges of my desk and stuff like that. What have you done with your picks? Let me know, post a video, have you covered a guitar with them? Uh, <laughs> it's just, they're, they're really cool, they're colorful, and I think they're a real creative source. So I'm looking for ideas. What have you guys done? Post a video. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and share the videos with your friends. So have fun getting picky. Well, thanks for watching, and see you next time on Guitar Tech, How to Do It Yourself.